moving forward, though, we talked about the commanders. Again, now number one in pass rate over expectation. It's creating a ton of volume for all the pass catchers here, including Logan Thomas, who looks as good as he has in the two last years. Remember, just two seasons ago, this was a lock top six tight end, one of the biggest breakouts in fantasy. Everybody loved him. And convenient tight end six right now in fantasy points per game, 11.6 average right now. That's above George Kittle, even after his three touchdown explosion. That's above Dallas Goddard, Evan Ingram. Logan Thomas is thriving right now. And don't look any closer than what he just did last week. 11 targets, 11, 11. Let me say it again, 11 targets, nine catches for 77 yards and a touchdown. He had more targets and catches than Terry McHorn and Jahan Dotson combined. Insane how highly used he is. And yeah, we all kind of joked Eric the enemy. You know, he doesn't have a Travis Kelsey here, but he will scheme the tight end. He's using him like it is Travis Kelsey. And he's not producing like Travis Kelsey because news alert, Logan Thomas is not Travis Kelsey. We understand that. You shouldn't expect that at all. But the 11 targets, I mean, this is truly one of the highest volume positions at that tight for tight ends where you can never find consistency or catches, or it's so volatile. You're mostly a touchdown or bust here this position. But no, Logan Thomas, he's had two games now, two of four games. He missed one, but he's had 23% and 25% target share. Both of them were team highs in those games. The commander's ranked fifth right now in total tight end targets at 47. Thomas is getting the volume. He's doing a ton of solid work with it. He looks as agile and nimble as he has in multiple years. He has a beast at a position where it is so hard to find it. Only 17% rostered. I suggest about 10 to $15 bids, 10 to 15% of your fab. But if you're tight end desperate, and really, who isn't this year? You could really push this one up to 20 if you want to try to gain that edge. I don't know that you'll get a, a Mark Andrews, a TJ Hawkinson level of consistency, but I bet you you're getting six to seven catches, uh, potentially at least targets on that. And that's really, really rare at the tight end position. So definitely check out Logan Thomas if you're tight end needy. Did want to shout out Dalton Schultz as well. 30% rostered right now. I loved him coming into the year. And we're starting to see. He was about a 50% route player early in the season. But now back-to-back weeks with 70% or higher route share. And back-to-back weeks with 18 or more fantasy points. Any piece attached to C.J. Stroud right now, who's on pace to smash the rookie season record for passing yards. Smash Andrew Luck by nearly 600 yards. He's on pace. He just shot for 5K passing yards so far. The kid is electric, and they're only getting better. The line's only getting healthier, and Dalton Schultz is only getting more and more involved. Like I said, 18 and 19 points in back-to-back games. So if you miss on Logan Thomas or you want to just monopolize the waiver wire tight ends, those are the two guys you definitely should look to. What is up, you fantasy wolf? Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't already, share your thoughts in the comments. Check out some more videos. And join the newest Wolfpack by subscribing below.